So Portals is a low-level network programming interface uh, intended to enable uh, supercomputers uh, for scientific computing applications. So most of the time when a, when a network vendor delivers you a, a network, they give you a, a software interface to make that network go. Um, and what we were trying to do was encourage more standardization. So give us the capability from the network that we really need so that there isn't this mismatch between what applications and services on these supercomputing systems need and what the network provides. So it helps bring together you know, the capability that the network providers are giving to us to match what we really need for the, the functions and services on these supercomputing systems. Portals is fundamentally a co-design strategy, a hardware-software co-design strategy. And this is different than the way other people had approached trying to make uh, software communicate over the network. So whereas other groups were approaching things with the hardware doing certain things and the software doing certain things and they didn't really match up with one another, Portals was specifically designed to be a layer that was like a co-design layer. So one thing that Portals was designed to do is to basically provide the basic building blocks to allow the scientific programmers to do what they need to do to move the data around in the, in the supercomputer. The second thing that, it, that Portals does is it's written with an eye towards hardware. So the basic idea is, is that you can look at the programming interface and while it can be used to do higher level programming, you can look at it from a hardware perspective and see how you might be able to implement it directly in hardware, which means you should be able to speed things up a lot. Portals 4 has been used in, in various commercial offerings. It's been used directly as an API for programming. Um, for some interfaces. Uh, for others, it's been adapted to what is now known as LibFabric, which is one of the most common networking APIs used out there today. And the Portals interface has uh, more specifically impacted the Cassini NIC, which is actually the interconnect that's being used in all of the DOE exascale systems today. Okay, many people don't realize it, but supercomputers are already playing a central role in their lives from discovering new drug treatments to designing automobiles to predicting the weather. All of these applications require high-speed interconnects to generate efficient and timely answers, and Portals is already playing an important role. The Portals interface itself is evolving into the future as well. It remains stable so that software can continue to run generation to generation, but as we determine there's new features, new functionality, the Portals interface continues to evolve uh, along with that. The impressive thing with Portals is that we've had multiple vendors adopt this technology, not only in terms of the hardware that they deliver, but also the software APIs as well. So in particular, HP Cray uh, just delivered their uh, Slingshot interconnect, which is based on Portals 4. And it will be the interconnect that enables all three of the DOE exascale computing systems. So the current system that is uh, Frontier at Oak Ridge National Lab will have Slingshot, as well as the El Capitan system from Lawrence Livermore and Aurora systems from Argonne that are uh, due in the future.